So today we're gonna be trolling feminists on Facebook. Some of my most popular videos on my channel are me trolling feminists on Twitter. And I was thinking, where are people as equally as weird as Twitter? Facebook, the place where they believe every conspiracy theory ever known to man. The best social media for middle-aged people. You know when even your grandma has a social media page, it's not cool. So knowing the type of people that are on Facebook, I decided to go on it and troll feminists. Here's my profile from my last Facebook video. It looks perfect. I just need to do one little thing. So I decided to search a feminist quote and pick the worst quality looking one to make a post. Well behaved women rarely make history. Now it's the time to search feminists into groups on Facebook and try and get accepted to join them. I'm noticing a big increase in fake profiles presenting as female, but are presumably male. Adding laugh reacts to serious content. Find something productive to do with your time and stop trolling women who just want to feel safe. Oh, you people are horrible. Horrible. I would never, I would never do such a thing. Which one is the laughing emoji? I would never do that. Being a straight woman is wild because you have to date your only natural predator. This way of thinking will make sure you're alone for a long time. It's good to always think people are constantly constantly evil no matter what. Just based on their gender. It's really good. It's really good for your health. Hate men, LMFAO. Love food, LMFAO. If you really want to name things that you hate and love, you know, you can't miss out one of the things you love the most in the world. This picture speaks a lot. Struggle of a woman to reach her goal. Why do all the women still have to do all the washing and cooking before they can reach their goal? Honestly, I think that this quote and combination of picture might be more misogynistic than anything said by an incel. Why do they have to do the washing? Who's forcing them to? Are you sure you're living in the 21st century, bro? I think you found this picture in a 1950s newspaper. What is this, man? Whoa, woke, eye, eye opening. No, this is just stupid. Zach said I was using hate speech and made me take my post down. So let's try this again. I actually hate men who wanna be my girlfriend. So I went on this person's profile and I realized this person was a mother. Now I'm blurring the kid's face here with a smiley face. The kid's actually depressed to have this person as a mother. You are a great example example to your son. I mean, it's so true, guys. Raising a son while actively hating your son's gender is a great way to raise someone. You should be proud. Well done to you. And I think this person was not very happy with me because I saw one of their posts a couple hours later. Not sure who had the time to make a fake Facebook just to comment on my shit, but if you can't take a joke, then you should probably delete me now. It's just Facebook. Don't take it so seriously. Shh. Go take care of your child. You loving or hating men is never going to affect me because I don't know who the fuck you are. And then Jessie was not happy about this. She went on my profile and commented this. Why don't you stop giving head for money and take care of your child? <laughs> Last post, you said I was a fake Facebook profile. Now you're dissing my fake job on Facebook. <laughs> Jesse, I provide for my family and don't teach my son to hate another gender while raising him. I wish the same could be said about you. Oh yeah, if you didn't know, Jenny Slugs has a son. You need to like, you know, sleep women and stuff to, for that to happen. So I definitely don't have any secret children. Lmao, stop taking Facebook so seriously and go touch some grass, you weird ass bitch. I am perfectly calm. <laughs> but then I tried to reply back and uh, Jesse actually blocked me. Who took this too seriously, Jesse? <laughs> Good luck to your son. You're the one raising him, so he's definitely gonna need it. In search of power, 2024. You are literally a man. What are you searching up? Are you trying to get in the good books of the women in this Facebook group? You trying to lure the grandmas to DM you on Messenger? What the fuck is this, bro? You're not blending in. <laughs> You are not a feminist. Misandry isn't real. Men hate women because they're mad they're single. Women hate men because they're scared they will abuse us. This might be one of the worst posts I've ever seen in my life. How are these people even alive right now? They are so stupid. I think hating men or women is dumb to begin with, okay? Yes, there are 100% women that are scared of men because of traumatic experiences. But I can also guarantee you that there is a hundred percent men out there that have had traumatic experiences with women. Yeah, guys, men, they don't have any bad experiences. No, 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 no. Only women are allowed to do that. There are men. What the hell? Oh! 
It's dead. Anyway, I was gonna say I'm pretty sure men can have bad experiences. When are people gonna start realizing that no matter what gender you are, you are human and everyone's gone through things? Honestly, I think it's quite common knowledge. Any human can have a bad experience. Any human can have a good experience. There's no way these people have a functioning brain. You are delusional. One of the most delusional posts I've ever seen in my life. Only women have experienced bad things in the world. That's true. I'm here to show the world that a woman can be light and dark, gentle and fierce, strong and soft warrior and a healer. And that balance doesn't make her bad, it makes her powerful as fuck. And I'm here to show you that you can look great if you shop at Perch.store right now. Hoodies and t-shirts are 100% cotton, okay? Packaging is environmentally friendly and it has no plastic. Unlike Taylor Swift who flies from the bathroom to the bedroom, you can actually help the planet a little bit. And you can look good while doing it as well. And the last generation collection is a limited time drop and there's only 500 products being sold. They are never coming back ever again. And you can go get yourself the PX flag collection as well. This is the woman equivalent to cringe alpha male posts. We get it. You're self-obsessed and lonely. And then we have this amazing post. And I'm not gonna read all that. I ain't gonna lie. But supposedly everything came from a woman and you came from a woman. I mean, I don't even know if any of these are true. So let's just search one up, okay? Computers. <laughs> That was invented by a man. Okay, that's quite awkward. This is the man that posted this, by the way. Clearly just went through a divorce a couple years ago and still has not found anyone else. Now is begging it on Facebook. All that, but no woman ever comes because of you, bro. If you actually pleased your wife, you wouldn't have to turn to this after she left you. A man breathes me. I don't know what that reaction is. Just listening, you know? Listening to a man breathe. I mean, I, I rate that, you know? First time a woman's ever listened. <laughs> Why men shouldn't be deciding for women? World population. People born from women. People born from men. Feel free to fact check. Oh, and comments are turned off for this post. That clearly means you're wrong because you can't handle criticism and you have to turn off comments as soon as possible because people were proving you wrong. Hopefully you realize that making a baby takes a man and a woman. And yes, the woman will be birth the kid. That's just how it works. You do need men to make the baby as well. I'm like fucking Bill Nye at this point, mate. Dishing out science facts and shit. A good friend of mine is a model. She's Disney princess gorgeous and covered in tattoos. Anyway, this man at a fan convention over the weekend was hitting on her and asked, how old are you, 25? She replied, how much money do you make? He was aghast. She continued, you're trying to determine my worth, so I'm just doing the same. God, I love her. For the record, she's a smoking hot 33 year old and done with mediocre insecure men men. Supposedly asking someone's age is determining their worth based on their age. Oh my god, wait, how old are you, 25? Was the person that they were talking to Leonardo DiCaprio this whole time? Yeah, that's too old. Is your friend acoustic or restarted? That's an honest question, because for some reason, someone asking her age is the same question as how much money do you make? I'm not arguing with a straight man. Go use your three-in-one shampoo and shut up. Not the three-in-one. <laughs> Those are rookie numbers. Real men use 15-in-one, so whoever you've been talking to is not a real man. Also, you should follow in their footsteps and shower because you look like you stink. Oh, and after that, all my comments started pending. I don't think they like me anymore, guys. Don't join Facebook feminist groups. Be smart. Be cool. Shop at purge.store. Thank you. Good night. I love you. Like and subscribe.